What, what happened? Where am I? You died. There was a bus and it was skidding and I died. Yeah. But don't feel bad. Everyone does. Where am I? Is this the afterlife? Yeah, kind of. Are you God? Yeah, I'm God. My kids, my, my wife, what about them? Will they be all right? That's what I like to hear. You just died and your first thought was for your wife and kids. That's good stuff right there. No need to worry, they'll be fine. Your kids will remember you as being perfect in every way. They have no time to go contempt for you. Your wife, she will cry on the outside, but will be secretly relieved. To be honest, your marriage was falling apart. If it's any consolation, she will feel very guilty for feeling relieved. Oh. Well, what happens now? Uh, will I go to heaven or hell or something? Actually, you'll be reincarnated. Oh. So the Hindus were right. All religions are right in their own way. Walk with me. Where are we going? Nowhere in particular. It's just nice to walk while we talk. So what's the point of it all? I'll just be a blank slate, right? And I'm reborn, a baby. So all the experience and knowledge I've acquired in this life won't matter. No, no, no. You have all the knowledge and experiences of all your past lives. The soul, your soul, is more majestic, magnificent and beautiful than you can ever imagine. Your human mind can only contain a tiny fraction of what you are. It's like sticking your toe into the ocean to see if it's warm or cold. You put a tiny part of yourself into that ocean and when you bring it back out, you've gained all the experiences it had. You've been in human form for the last 38 years, so you haven't really stretched out and felt the rest of your immense consciousness. If we hang around here for long enough, you'll begin to remember everything. So how many times? Billions and in billions of different lives. This time around, you'll be an Irish peasant girl during the famine. What? What? You're sending me back in time. Time, as you say it, only exists in your reality. Things are very different where I come from. From? Of course, I come from somewhere. Somewhere else. And there are more like me. I know you're curious and you want to know what it's like there but you just wouldn't understand. But if I'm reincarnated into different places in time, I might have interacted with myself. Can't happen, can it? Sure. Happens all the time. Each life is only aware of its own existence, so you don't even know it's happening. But if I'm sent back, what's the point? You're asking me for the meaning of life. Isn't that a little cliched? I'm dead. Is that not a reasonable question to ask? The meaning of life. Uh, the reason I made this universe was for you to mature. You mean mankind? You, you want us to mature and grow? Not quite. Just you. I made this whole universe just for you. What? Just me? But what about everyone else? There is no one else. But in this universe, it's just you and me. But, but all the people on Earth? All you. Different incarnations of you. I'm every person who ever lived. Or who will ever live. I'm Margaret Thatcher. And you're the IRA man who tried to kill her. I'm Himmler. And you're the millions of Jews he killed. I'm Jesus. And you're everyone who follows him. Every time you persecuted someone, you were persecuting yourself. Every act of humanity you've done, you've done to yourself. Every joyful and heartbreaking moment ever experienced by any human was or will be 
experienced by you. I don't understand. One day you'll become like me. Because that's what you are. You're one of my kind. You're my child. You mean, I'm a god? No, at least not yet. You're an embryo, you're still growing. But once you have lived every human life throughout all time, you will have matured enough to be born into this reality. So the whole of existence is just an egg? Yes. Now it's time. There's a field in the west of Ireland that needs tending. Don't worry. I'll see you soon enough.